Hello, epic viewers. Dom Sothra of the Cosmos. Prepare to indulge in experiencing sheer bliss, because today, another riveting, captaining, stellar unboxing video is about to be brought to fruition. What item will I be unboxing? What item will I be opening? Without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to elicit the packaging. What figurine is encompassed inside this hefty, bulky, tangible, nifty box? Let's find out. I'm going to demystify the answer to that inquiry right here right now, so bear with me. It will only take me billions of picoseconds to extract the item from the box and subsequently flaunt it in front of the camera for you to feast your glorious eyes on. Behold, I have drawn forth the one and only illustrious, stoic, noble, Valiant, heroic, divine, astute, shrewd, renowned, ODST soldier. Apparently it was produced by Joyride Studios amid the early 2000s. Is this figurine a paradigm of perfection? Is he the embodiment of perfection? Is he the epitome of perfection? Do his aesthetics denote Resounding perfection. I believe that this figurine is a paradigm of perfection and no facet. As a caveat of one, unfortunately, he's missing finger joint articulation. He lacks, an, he lacks an ankle pivot. He lacks a diaphragm joint. His head is not relegated to a disjoint. He can swivel his wrists. He can rotate his forearm. His knees are not double jointed. He cannot turn his waist. So he is a finite amount of points of articulation. Nonetheless, he still has merit and practically olfaceth. He has high quality textures. He has high quality shadings. He's not marred with scratches. He's not tainted with blemishes. He doesn't have any major scuffs. My vision is fading. My vision is atrophying. My vision is perpetually diminishing. Nonetheless, this figurine just looks glorious. He can wield a multitude of weapons. If you possess them, if not, then have no fear, have no trepidation, because you can equip a random battle rifle to him. Equip him with armaments, watch him charge into the fray battle. He has a temerity to trounce anyone within, within his vicinity. He's an elite. I love the ODST soldiers. They're just remarkable. Can he equip this knife? I do not know. It's sliding through his hands. Are his hands defective? They do not appear to be so, but they may have widened. Over the course of time, their integrity may be compromised. He is dual wielding a battle rifle in conjunction with a knife. Stay out of his vicinity because if you're in contact with an ODST soldier, and if you are a part of the forces of evil, then your life can be in peril. He's a protector of the innocuous. He's safe guards the innocent, he puts his life on the line, he compromises his own well-being just to defend others. I guess he deems other people's lies to have more merit than his, which is why he's on the front lines striving to save the universe, humanity, and the innocent from succumbing to premature deaths. Do not invoke his rage. He's imbued with passion. He's imbued with fury. He's ready to fight for his comrades at all costs. He displays camaraderie. He displays friendship. He is just perfection. He's the embodiment of resounding perfection. He's ready to charge into battle. and take on anyone within his pass. He will transverse the battlefield to locate enemies, hunt them down. I 
and assure himself, and insure himself. That there will be no casualties. I guess it's usher as opposed to insure. Not usher. Usher means to bring in. Like you can say, we're going to usher in an age of ubiquitous technology. But when I said insure earlier, I meant to say assure. So sorry about that blunder. Regardless of how I digress, this figurine has merit. I recommend and advocate purchase in him. You can procure him via eBay. I recollect paying under $11 to um, procure him. I have no qualms about my purchase and decision. He's a 10 out of 10 for the price I paid. He's worth picking up. He's a worthwhile action figure. He stands roughly 7 inches tall. He scales eminently with a 6, 7, or 8 inch action figure line. He's supposed to be tall. He's not supposed to be feeble or flimsy. His joints are sturdy. He's definitely remarkable. Those are my sentiments pertaining to the figurine. Yours may be disparate from mine. Please feel free to divulge them via the comment section below. If you disagree with me, if you concur with me, you can also notify me via the comment section beneath this video. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.